What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the first beta of iOS 26 to developers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a lot to talk about. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you can notice right off the bat is, is that there's a brand new design inside of iOS 26. So it is more glass-like. The dock is made of glass. The icons have like a glass border around it. And even if you were to go inside of certain apps, you're gonna see that the tab bar has been completely redesigned here. So this is what it looks like right here. It's made of glass, it's more translucent, and you could actually see a bit through there. As you can see right there, there's uh, something for Brawl Stars, and you even is more fluid-like, like it's water-like. So if you tap and hold, it's pretty water-like. So just tapping and holding, it looks pretty cool. It has a pretty cool effect. And even there's a new search API that brings things down here and it expands straight to the tab bar all the way down here. So before it would just be up here, now it is down here. So no longer you have to reach all the way up, you can now tap the search button and you could just tap down here for search. Now the next thing is that there is a brand new t clear option inside of here. So if you were to press on the clear button, you're gonna see that things are a lot more clear. So as you can see, I still need to update my app right here, Willy Widgets, and things are just white and it's just more translucent in the background. So there's a dark and a light mode variant of it. And everything just looks really cool right here. So obviously apps still need to support it. Although some apps it needs to obviously support it. So we'll see if they will support it or not. If it's just like the dark mode icons. But so far it's looking pretty cool right here. I don't know if I'll use this on a day to day basis. But so far I like this a lot. Alright so the next thing is inside the camera app. If you were to go inside the camera app you'll see it has been completely redesigned right here. So you have video right here, and you have photos, straightforward as that. And to get to your other modes, just swipe, and just keep swiping until you're on the mode that you want to use. And if you were to tap on the mode, for example, if I were to tap video, everything comes down here. So intensity, you could adjust the intensity of things like that. And inside of photos, you get a lot more things to customize right here. It is just really cool to see all this. And everything is more rounded once again, and it is very glass-like. Safari has a brand new design now. So Apple has actually removed the option to have your tab bar on the up. Now it's forced to be down here. And along with that, it has been redesigned to look more like the iOS 15 beta tab bar design. So if you were to tap on this, you're gonna see it just is very glass-like once again. It's just that everything has more depth, more translucency to it. And overall, Apple has just done a pretty good job right here. I think this is going to be less controversial than iOS 15 was and it just looks really nice and cool. I'm just worried about the people who have their top bar set to top if they'll be mad or not but we'll have to see and wait on that. Now the next thing has to do with a wallpaper. So if you were to go into the iOS wallpaper right here you're going to see that there's a brand new slider right here and if you were to pull on this slider you're going to see you'll be able to make the time a lot bigger just like that. And also if you were to tap on the time right here You'll also notice that this is only restricted to this size right here. So it is a little bit buggy right now, as you can see right here. But with time, I'm sure Apple will be fixing it and making it a lot better. And you could also choose between a solid or a glass version of the time. So it looks like that with the glass. And it also moves your widgets down here on iOS. So let's add a native widget right here, for example, batteries. And let's also add a Willy widget storage. And you can see this is what it looks like on iOS. I really like that the fact that they move the widgets down here and then your notifications just go above them. For some people, I don't think they'll like that, but they'll like the time. We'll have to see and wait on that. And you'll just notice that once again, everything is glassy. The next thing you'll see right here is if you were to go inside the messages app, you'll see that there is a brand new background setting. So you could add a background, for example, let's do Aurora and it will just show you what it will look like. And some of them even anime, you can even do a purple, you could do a pink one. It's just really cool and you could also add your own picture if you want. And this is what the design looks like here in the Messages app. Also inside of Messages, you, there is live translation. So if somebody translates something, you'll be able to see some translation inside the Messages app just like that. There are also some brand new screening tools inside of here as well. So for example, if you get a message and you don't know if it's who it's from, your iPhone will tell them who is this and it will tell them and then and only then will you get a message inside the messages app. It's also the same for phone calls. So if a phone number you don't know picks up, what will happen is that the phone number will be asked by iOS who is this 
and then iOS will tell you a transcription of it. It is done with messages, phone, and FaceTime. And also, inside of CarPlay, you now have widgets. And with Apple intelligence features, for example, visual intelligence, you'll now be able to do visual intelligence with stuff on the screen. So you just take a screenshot and a visual intelligence button will show up down here and you'll be able to tap it and you could ask ChatGPT whatever you want about it or just search it up on Google, for example. And you'll also be able to tap on the screen and just choose what you want to search up. It is very nice to see. And it's also the same with Genmoji. For Genmoji, you'll have, you'll be able to combine multiple different kinds of emojis together. So for example, if I were to combine this emoji with this emoji, it will probably make this crying with happy tears. That's a little example of what it would do, and you'll be able to describe what it will do with the actual Genmoji itself. And inside of Shortcuts, you'll be able to use large language models that Apple has provided on the device. The phone app has also been completely redesigned right here. It will first ask you if you want the new layout, so you click on yes, and you could also choose between the classic at any time. You'll also be able to pin the people right here. So inside the call section, you'll be able to pin people a lot easier. And also, iPhone will now also let you know when the hold music turns off as well. So you could just use your phone without needing to listen to the hold music. And there's also polls inside the messages app. Now the next feature is inside the clock app. If you were to go inside the clock app right here and then go to an alarm, you'll see that you now have a snooze duration. So before it's nine minutes by default, but you're now be able to customize the snooze duration. So before it was nine minutes because that's what the rest of the industry used before iPhones. And now you'll just be able to customize it like you should have been always able to. There's also now a brand new games app. So if you were to open it right here, You'll, be, you'll see that you'll be able to add some people right here just by pressing the invite button. And you'll also be able to discover some brand new games right here. So these are the top played games that use Game Center. And you'll also be able to discover some brand new games as well. And also get recommendations based for you. You also find your leaderboards here. So this is basically the long awaited replacement for the Game Center app. And it's also kind of an app store right here. So you can just download your games right here and you'll be able to play them it's right away. The new features inside of iOS 26. It is really amazing that we got a lot of these features and the new design is low key pretty nice. Now I will say this now, some apps will have the classic design. Willy Widgets will definitely not have the classic design. Even if they're built with the new SDK, they'll have the new design for a little a bit longer. Apple's making it opt out and thanks for watching comment like, subscribe share this with your friends download my apps in the description down below they'll all be supported with ios 26 pretty soon and i'll see you in my next video bye